All right, in this video, I do want to get into the edit, but before I can edit, I need to import audio, right? That would only make sense. So let's go to File, Import, Audio. Then I need to find the audio that I want to uh, edit. I'm going to pick this one. Now, most of the Cakewalk products are going to give you at least most of these options. Click Open to import it cancel to not import it of course help will give you a little information about the importing of audio and then play play will play the audio all right now the bit depth basically uh it means you can choose between 16 most cakewalk products that are like cakewalk le and your music creator and your smaller packages are only going to give you 16 and 24 bit options Go ahead and just import a 16-bit. It's just, you know, unless you, you know, trying to do a professional, you know, recording. Just starting out, I would suggest is use, just using the 16-bit. It takes less um, space in your hard drive. Just use it. Um, but, of course, if you have Sonar 7 and your, your later, um, your newer Sonars, they give you all the way up to 64-bit. So it's like 16, 24, 32. 32, yeah, 64. So you have a lot of choices. But the higher the bit, the more hard drive space it takes. Um, you see here it says copy audio to project file. Remember on the other video when I was showing how you can name the project before you actually open it? And it automatically gives you an audio file. Well, when you import stuff, it will, it will, if this is checked, it will automatically put audio into that file. Um, I uncheck it. And uh, then this is import as mono. Import as mono just means in the stereo track you have a left and a right on the auto file. So let's say I'm gonna I'm import a uh, stereo. Okay, if you notice, there's two different waveforms, right? But it's all on one track. You can play it left or right. Now, when I import it as a mono, Go back, uncheck that audio to project folder. Now I'm gonna click on import as mono. And this will let you know too, if you look down here at the bottom, it tells you what was going on. It's gonna tell you, okay, it's a PCM um, formatted wave. It is at 44100 hertz, 16-bit stereo. It's going to tell you the full length of how many seconds is the file. So it gives you a little bit of information about your audio right here. And um, this kind of gives you an option what, sound, what part of the sound card you want to use or which sound card you want to use to preview the sound. Um, you just leave that alone. But if you import as mono, hit open, it will give you two tracks. One track is left, the other track is right. It's just like the stereo track. It's the same thing, except they have separated into two different tracks. If you notice that each track have one big waveform instead of having two smaller ones. See how like my meters, only one side of the meter, um, you know, went up just because um, it's separated into two monos. It's cool that that's cool if you're gonna do different effects. Let's say if I got like some drums and I wanted, you know, a delay effect on the right side of the drums, I can import it as mono and do that easier. Um, there's some delay um, effects that allow you to delay on the left side or the right side, but this is just a way of doing it without having to have that type of delay unit. But um, that's the only difference between the mono and the stereo. Stereo is all on one track, which that's what you're going to use most of the time. There's some, you know, things you may use the, the mono, the two mono tracks. But nine times out of ten, you're just using the stereo track. All right, so I'm going to import audio. Bring that back. 
All right. So we have our audio track. Let's go to edit. Let's check our export real quick before we go to edit. We go to export audio. So let's say I did all, every, all my everything that I wanted to do to the audio track, and now I want to save it. It's just the audio track. I export the audio. You can I can name it, and this the different options that you have um, when you're exporting. In general, you will leave it alone. The only thing I would change on this is change it from 32 bit to 16 bit turn filtering off to none some of the smaller packages you're not going to have this many options okay so the main thing you want to make sure that is on 16 bit and that if you have filtering as an option you want to put that to none <coughs> and um, that's it you just name it and hit export all right so we're finally going to get to editor all right editing if you go to edit make sure your clip is highlighted Make sure that audio is highlighted. Undo. Undo means that you can undo the last thing you did. So let's say if I move this clip, I just moved it, but I can undo to bring it back. So let's say I move it once, then I move it again. I can undo two times. Undo. Undo. So basically, it just takes you back to the steps that you've done before. History. History, if you click on history, it'll show you all the things you've done. If you deleted a track, if you moved the track, if you imported a track, you could take it back to that point. So let's say um, I want to go back to where I deleted a track. Hit OK. I deleted a track, and that's where I was. Let's go back to history. Let's say insert. Boom. Remember when I insert the two mono tracks? It took me back to that. So that's thing the wonderful thing about the history. Select you mean you can select all or select none. Select none. Select nothing. Select all the tracks. Select all the tracks. And then you're going to have other options, like you can select um, by filter. You can set it up where you only want to select between uh, one bar and four bars. But that's an advanced thing. You don't have to worry about that right now. Same with by time. If you want to select from zero seconds to 20 seconds. Again, that's another kind of advanced technique. Don't worry about it right now. Cutting, cutting is kind of like delete. Like I got the tracks highlighted. If I hit, cut, if I select cut, some of them are going to ask you other options like tempo changes and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. You can just hit OK and they'll cut it out. All right, hit undo. Copy is copy. You copy it and then you can paste it to another track, or you can paste it later later on doing the track. So let's say if I want this and I want to copy it right here. All I have to do is go to edit, paste, hit OK, boom, it's right there. So undo. So that's all copy and paste is copying a track and pasting it to another location. Um, delete is delete. S similar to cut is you're deleting the track. Or you're deleting the, the clip. All right. Bounce the clips. Bounce the clips is basically uh, if you have uh, two different clips, you can make it to one clip. But I'm going to show you that in the next video because I'm running out of time. But in the next video, I'm going to start with the bounce to clips and go on down the line and showing you other things. All right, like I said, make sure you check me out free, biggroundbeats.com. I'm going to have other tutorial videos on there for you to watch, and um, hopefully you learn something. I got sounds, and I also have beats on there, of course. All right, so next video, bounce the clips is where I'm going to start off at. Peace.